Welcome to the Regrid Property App. Today we're going to cover the Draw Focus Area tool, which is found under the Measure tab in the toolbar on the left-hand side. Draw Focus Areas are really useful if you want to define a given area and either come back to it in the future or save it as an area that you want to work within. So I'll get started here and we'll talk about a little bit more what that means in a second. So I've clicked the tool, you can see the cursor changes to the crosshairs, um, and now I'm going to define my area. Let's imagine that I have a specific set of blocks within this Powderhorn neighborhood in Minneapolis that I'm looking at here. Uh, I click to define the points of the area that I care about, and then the last point, I'll double click, and this will close the shape and pull up this prompt to name it. So I'm going to call this something like example two. Uh, I could enter a description about what this is to me if I was so inclined. And then there's two checkboxes to look at. Most of the time you want to leave these checked. Uh, this one, add it to the current project as a focus area, means it'll show up as a uh, essentially a polygon within the project. Um, and then the second one, which I would say 99% of people often want to do, is to make this the default place for the project, meaning this is the area that you will come back to when you reopen the project, and you'll be working within that area if you want to do something like figure out how many properties have X characteristic with our filter tool within the area. So I'll click save, I'll leave those boxes checked, and you can see how that jumps me to my smaller area here. And if I was to close and reopen this project, it would zoom me right back to this spot. Uh, I'll quickly illustrate why a focus area is helpful, especially around filter, but first I'll take a quick stop at overview. So you can see here, if I pull up the overview tab, it's got the name of the focus area and then all of these statistics here. Uh, which happen to be pretty sparse in this small area, um, but if you were drawing a larger area, you'd see our normal list of top owners, and you can see that all these stats uh, accommodate this area specifically. So we've got within the area that I've drawn 287 properties, 273 different owners, all that kind of thing. If I go over to filter quickly, let's imagine that I want to know how many properties are have a land use code of residential in this sub area that I've just drawn. So I opened up the filter tool, I'll click on residential properties, that'll work away. You can see that all residential properties on the map uh, within this county actually highlight at the moment. Um, but for your purposes of knowing how many within this area, this tally is where you want to be looking. So you can see that 277 properties fit the description of the, the land use code as residential. From here, you can look at those as a list. Um, you can export those properties. We have tutorial videos on those as well, so check those out if you're so inclined. But this is one example of a process where you might want to draw a focus area so that you can drill down within a specific area and then within that go even deeper on uh, selecting properties that are of interest to you. So uh, a couple other things on focus areas while we're here. So one to note is that if you open up the project tab and you see that we're working in this uh, measure tutorial video, or project rather. If I keep scrolling down, uh, you can see this focus area section, and this is where you can add or remove focus areas from a given project. So imagine you have maybe multiple focus areas that you're working on within a project. You can simply scroll down in this list and click the plus button to add them to the project. I'll do that, this one for example, although it's not in Milwaukee. Um, and you can see with this blue line on the left-hand side and also sort of where it is in this grouping that it's been added to the project. Uh, to get rid of it, you can simply do the reverse and take that away. Uh, that zoomed me over to where it is. I'll click on my uh, recently drawn one for this project and zoom back. Um, and that's another thing worth mentioning is if you want to zoom to a given area, you can simply just click on it and it'll, it'll take you right to that focus area. Um, but the plus and X buttons are how you can uh, add and remove from a given project. We also have the option to start drawing a focus area from here as well as in the measure tool it'll take you to exactly the same place.